Hi, I'm Joe Alvarez. Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. This segment, we're going to talk about the importance of the pump operator and understanding gauges and also looking at the hose and determining whether or not they have the proper pressure on the line and if it's working efficiently for the firefighters that are inside the building. On this top mount pump, it is very easy if there's an issue with the hose line outside of the building. If the lines are inside the building and we have a break in the line or maybe a coupling was not tightened down all the way and it broke free, you're not going to see that from inside. So the way to figure that one out is by looking at our pump gauges and seeing if water is flowing. If an individual is calling for water and you're showing that you're pumping water and they're still asking for water, it's telling me that there's a problem with the hose line. As I just said, the pump up here, it's a little bit easy to look at the hose outside. Now I'm going to walk down to your traditional side mount pump and we're just going to look at that and see if the line gets stretched off of the opposite side, how the firefighter can't even look without walking around the apparatus. Okay, when we come to this traditional side mounted pump, all of our gauges are on this side. If a line gets stretched off of the officer's side of the vehicle, we're not gonna be able to determine if there's a break in that line. We would have to physically run around the apparatus look to see if there's a problem with the line. If there's not, then we're figuring out that it's inside. But again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our gauges and whatever line is being pulled or stretched into the building, when water is called for, if one of our gauges is moving and the other gauge is locked down, that's telling me that water is flowing freely through that line. So if an individual is calling for that water source and it's not getting to them, it has to be a problem with that hose. Okay, I was just showing you the top mounted versus side mounted and actually being able to see the hose lines if the break is on the outside of the building. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put water through the two lines and I'm going to show how the gauges will not match and we will see the, the difference outside when the water is coming through a break in a hose line. As you can see, I put water to the green line. I'm sending water to the yellow line, and there's a break in our yellow line. Our gauges are gonna show that we're not getting water to the head because it's not sitting static. So what's happening is the individuals inside might not be getting the water pressure that they need to get because of the break. As you can see, we have water to each line. One is showing water is moving, one is showing water is not. If the individual on the line is still calling for water, this is telling me, this is a key element, this is telling me that water is not getting to him or her. You must be cognizant of our gauges when you're the pump operator. Okay, we just went over looking at our gauges and determining on whether that water made the nozzle or not. What you guys have to keep in the back of your mind is your fire hose could have been tested an hour ago. Whether you tested it, whether you outsource testing it, it doesn't really matter. That hose can still break 20 minutes, two days, three days, a month after it's been hose tested. Just because that hose has been tested doesn't mean that it's perfect. This break could happen at any given time. What we're trying to get from this information here today is if you're a chauffeur, pump operator, whatever you call it at home. You want to make sure that you understand the intricacies of your pump gauges and how it's going to work when we're inside of a fire and guys are calling for water. I'm Joe Alvarez. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.